guys, it's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. Whew, I did the most stupidest thing. I'm on my way to physical therapy. And uh oh y'all, I did the most stupidest thing. So before I went to therapy, I went on a nice little Saturday morning ride, like we do every Saturday, try to at least, um, with my hubby. And uh y'all I we were riding in the Camaro now for those who remember that old not older style Camaro not the newer ones but the older ones you know they sit low to the ground just like the Corvette and you know we got a older well I think I'm trying to think what year is our Camaro our Camaro's a 90 I did the paper 96 97 this is a 96, 97 Camaro, but then our Corvette's a 99, I believe. Anyway, yeah, so I tried to get in the Camaro one time, like right, right when I came back, when he first brought it home, and I could not, like, my knee was, mm, mm So I have three different braces. Two I bought, well, you might say all three I don't bought now, but two I got from Walmart, one I got from the, the hospital, and, um, I put on my new, is it the newest? Uh, not newest, but anyway, the second one that I bought from Walmart. And um, because I know with that one, I have more mobility, meaning I can bend a little more. And so I can, I can bend my knee somewhat, not a hundred percent, but you know, enough that, um, nice little walking crew right there. Can y'all see them? Oh, I don't think y'all can see them. Anyway, it's a walking group. But anyway, um, this one allows me to bend. So I can bend it a little bit, but I just have to be careful. But I can't bend it like 100%, just like bend. Oh, I'm ashy. Jesus, I ain't got no lotion. Lord. Anyway, I just got the tub. So <laughs> um, I was able to get into the Camaro no problem I mean it was a little bit of pain but I was able to still get in but after sitting in there for 30 minutes I guess when it was time to get out you guys and now I just realized my braces is baggy feeling on my leg uh, when it was time to get out I was like oh my god and so my husband's sitting there waiting for me to get out and I'm like you get out first you just go ahead and get out first because he went to the store and I was like you get stuff out the trunk so I try to lean over like literally lean over into his seat so that I could you know kind of pull that leg out but not bend it as much but I still had to bend it because he didn't let me out at the corner like he picked me up he let me out at the the actual curb where he parked and because it's a low proud low profile car you know it's low to the ground yeah let me tell you I was screaming and hollering. He finally had to leave the stuff in the truck, in the trunk, and come and lift me out of the car, like literally. But by then, I had already bent the leg, in excruciating pain, and then I was in so much pain, I started shaking. Ugh. So I am terrified on my way to physical therapy right now. So this is gonna be like a, you know, I'm gonna talk a little bit, then I'm gonna, you know, let y'all go. Now I'm going to come back after therapy so I can let y'all see how I'm feeling. I'm not going to record in therapy because, baby, if them tears get to rolling, y'all need to see all that. I'm just telling you. <laughs> and I wanted to take my mama with me, but mama can't go because she got, um, not Bible study, but her church does Sunday school on Saturday. So they call it Saturday school, which I think is, I don't like the, the, the title, Saturday school. I mean, but anyway. Because mama go to a different denomination than I do. She go to Baptist church and I don't. But anyway, um, so because of their services or whatever, they chose to do Sunday school on Saturday. So she's got to be there an hour. I got to be at the place in eight minutes, nine minutes. <laughs> I got to check in. My appointment's at 930. It's 906 right now. It's supposed to be there at 915. So yeah. But I just wanted to come on and tell y'all about that because I was like, oh my God. I mean, I'm still like 
in pain. Like, I'm shaking right now. Like, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. I'm in pain. I don't like pain, y'all. Y'all know I don't like pain. Uh, but I can be in pain and still look fabulous, as you can see. Boss lady got that good hair done. Oh my gosh. So let me tell you that real quick. Why did I go, go well, I made an appointment. Uh, one of my pastors is a hairdresser. Um, that's like her favorite pastime. So she decided to do it for the summer uh, for full time. And um, I've been wanting her to do my hair like forever. I'm like, oh my God, pastor, you know, it, enter her name. Will you please do my hair? I want to get my hair done by you. You know, blah, blah, blah. So when she stepped out on faith and decided this is what she going to do, I was like, yep, sign me up, baby girl. I'm, I'm ready. So, um, I got the single lease twist. Now, these twists are smaller than the twists I've had in the past. And I don't know if you can see a really good lighting of them. Probably not because it's so sunny. But, um, I love them. Like, oh my gosh. But, so, the pre, pre-hair, I had my hair pulled back in a ponytail and, um, and it was gelled up so it had to be washed, right? So, I got off work at 5.30. I had to go to the beauty supply store. I didn't get to the beauty supply store until roughly about 5.55. I go in there and I get the hair. And then the first thing the clerk says, well, you do know this hair is like $10.99 a pack. Did I ask you how much it was? Are you saying I don't have the money? Child, if you don't ring this stuff up, I got an appointment in an hour. Let's go. So then I zoom, go get Miss Peanut, run home, wash my hair, right? And I said, I'm just going to wash it. I'm not going to condition it. You know, I'll do a deep condition when I take this out. So, baby, went to wash my hair. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, cool. Wash my hair. <laughs> went to blow dry. Why my blow dryer don't work? Like, no heat. And I said, you got to be kidding me, right? Mind you, this is, a, this is a fairly new dryer. I mean, I bought it since I've been on YouTube. Um... But, yeah, I'm going to use my dryer, and it's like blowing nothing but cold air. Now, y'all know, Bosley is 100% natural hair, hey, girlfriend. Yes, I made it without the big chop. But, anyway, so, yeah, I couldn't blow dry my hair. So, I was like, oh, my God, and my curls were popping. They were just like ringless, ringless, ringless. And I have the, the smaller ringlets, right? Baby, I was like... I hope she got a dryer because if not, we up the creek. So I'm driving. I got the windows down and I'm letting it air dry. So I got like this big poof. This, I mean, I got afro. Like, whoa. Oh my God. So after that, I had one whole side. Of course, this side was the side that was getting blown the most. So it was standing up on top of my head. It was a hot mess. I walk in and I'm thinking I'm just coming into a pastor house, right? Why I come up in there? My worship leader's in there. Her daughter's in there. And I'm looking at a hot mess. I'm like, Lord Jesus. Because they ain't never seen boss lady outside of her elements, okay? Hair still be combed. So they was like, whoa, that's all you. I'm like, uh, yeah. But my pastor, she has, um, this is not my head pastor, but she's the pastor who um, brought me in when, um, when I joined church. So she's one of my prayer warriors too. But anyway, um... She has this beautiful hair dryer that I need to I need to purchase. It's got a like a brush on it. And so she was brushing it and she said, Girl, you should just see your hair. She said, Well, you know what it's like, but I, I wish I would have got pictures. I should have asked her to take a picture so I could see as she was brushing it what it was looking like. Oh my goodness. She said it just it brushed out so pretty. I was like, really? So anyway, this is the final result. So she tied it up. Um, I was gonna let it hang, but she was like, I just want to see how it look with the tie up, blah blah blah. So I was like, okay, cool. So I'm rock rocking this for now till it fall down. Once it fall down, then I'll you know wear it straight or whatever. But I love it. I wish I had the bigger ones. I do, but I could not find it. The uh, store I went to did not have it. So I was like, well, whatever. You know, just gotta do it. What I gotta do it. Um, and y'all, let me tell you something. I don't have GPS on, and I'm praying I'm going the right way because it's 9:11, and uh, yeah. So anyway keeping it moving um i think i'm going somewhere over there we'll see uh this is the set i don't know lord mm. help holy ghost guide me to it i think it's i think it's over there yep 
Okay, so, um, but I love it. And so we talked about another style that I want. I want to try the Havana twist. And I think I'm going to try that for my, um, what's that thing called? Vacation. So, okay. No. Ooh, ooh, Jesus help me, Lord. That don't look like it. Mm. Okay, y'all. We're going to let the force drive us because we don't know where we's going. Might have the GPS and be like, I got lost. And I got a hurt leg. Have mercy on me. I'm driving myself. <laughs> but um, anyway. So, yeah. So, we talked about the Havana twist. She said she think that would be really pretty on me because, you know, it's the bigger um, twist and stuff. So, we shall see, guys. But I am almost to physical therapy. My pain level now is about a 7. It was 15 when I turned on the camera. So, um, I'm going to shut you guys off for now. And I will come back and let you know exactly how bad it was. So, talk to you guys later. Bye. Into third floor. We'll see. I am getting back in the vehicle here. <sighs> Let me tell you, I could go for something to eat and a nap. <laughs> I got three more appointments scheduled. Um, one next Saturday, then I take a week break, then I go on the 13th and the 20th. Um... I got my trusty uh, exercises. I got to work on my quads in my leg to strengthen it. And then I got these ones too. So I have some sitting down where I have to work on straightening my leg. Then I have to work on bending my leg. Then I have to work on, I think, straight, yeah, straightening it again. And then laying down doing it. So I got four exercises to do. Um, they're thinking I, I will stay in my stabilized brace for another week. And then they want me to come out of it and then just use more of a softer brace. Um, my mobility is better than they thought it would be at this point. So that's a good thing because I'm almost three weeks in. But can I tell y'all, this place is in the cut. I was like, I knew, cause I knew where to go only because my husband told me, you know, this area had done some re, not reorganization, but um, they had redone some, some uh, buildings or whatever. And so, cause he used to work out here and he was like, yeah, so you just go here and do this and do that. And I was just like, oh, okay baby i didn't know and so when i pulled in the line i'm like wait a minute that address don't look right remember when i was on the freeway i was like that can't be it but i kept on driving anyway and so i hurry up once i turned the camera off i turned on the gps and it said i was two minutes away so i'm like okay cool um and now i'm trying to think where am i at now lord anyway so i was able to find it no problem but it's off in the back Backwoods, as I call it. <laughs> Ooh, but I am in some pain. I'm actually hungry. Um, so now it's time to go home and figure out my life. Oh, fresh time is right here. Mm. Oh, so I can get here from this street. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out different ways to get here, but overall, it went it went better than expected. And of course, me being the biggest baby that I am, <laughs> I told that woman, I said, look at here, I have no tolerance for pain. I said, not, not zero, not 50%, not 100%. I have negative tolerance for pain. So therefore, I really don't want to feel no pain right now because, you know, I've already had some pain. 
this morning. So she worked with me. She was really cool. But the only thing I don't like is because I'm not coming during the week. Uh, oh, there is a still a pan of cooking over here. Let me tell boss man. Lord, I love that place. I'm going to tell him when I get to the house. But anyway, she said that um, because I'm not having the same physical therapist, um, I'm going to have to tell each therapist, like, listen, you know, don't cause me no drama. She was trying to get me to have the same therapist on Saturdays, but they all don't work the same on Saturdays. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to trip. I'm just going to let them know what I can and cannot do. And no, you're not going to force me to do nothing that I don't want to do. But we do have a goal. And my goal is to be um, better walking normal by my August vacation. So, that be that. Um, so, I just wanted to kind of take you guys along with me. Oh, so, uh-oh. I got to hold this now. It done got hot. Um, so, I just want to let you know that I showed two different clips of two different rooms. I was in one room with the green bed, and then the second room with the blue bed is where I did all my therapy. She didn't want to be in the room with the green bed because she said the room was too small. And she said it didn't have a, a, a oh, sorry, didn't have a, um, what do you call that thing? Window. So, that'd be that. But I got to go, guys, because I got to figure out this mount is falling. And I'll just see everybody in a new video. Bye, guys.